Hello everyone and welcome to another Android tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over the recycler view. So um, this is actually a very important UI element. It allows us to display our items in a list and it is the most popular widget for doing so. And so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Take a look at our project here. We have our main activity. Nothing in it. I took all the other stuff out from the other tutorials and same with main activity. Nothing in it. It's bone dry. We just have a constraint layout. So we're going to go ahead and right now we're going to add the recycler view. All right. And then we're going to have the width and height be match parent. And we're going to give it an ID. We can call this my recycler view. Okay. All right. Okay, we should be good to go. Let's close that. Now, what we need to do is when we display our items, we need a view that will display as each list item. So we're going to make a template. So we're going to create um, oh, whoops. Okay, yeah, we're good. Sorry. We're going to go ahead and create just an item template. Uh, we'll actually call it list item. Cool. All right. So now all we need to do is just throw a nice little text view on there because we're just going to be displaying some, uh, some names. Give it a moment as it's thinking. All right, there we go. So we can just constrain this to the top and to the side. We can move that out just a little bit, make the text size as well be a little bigger. All right, there we go. And then we can call this um, TV title for text view. Cool. All right, so let's go to our main activity now. So one thing we need to do is we need to create our list that um, we're actually going to be displaying our information with. So we can call this, I'll just go ahead and say bar my list and we'll have it be equal to an array. Actually, excuse me, yeah, we'll have it be equal to an array list of strings. All right. Now, inside of this onCreate method, um, again, I would recommend um, splitting this up as you make your own personal projects. But for tutorial purposes, we can go ahead and jump in and say my list add, and we're going to go ahead and add some elements here. So um, let's add things, things I got around me right now. Notebook and why not? We'll just, oof, pains me to copy it, but we'll do it anyway. Lap, top, charger, and phone, one more, tablet. Okay, cool. All right. So now, in order for the recycler view to show up, we need to create an adapter for it. So this means we need to create another class. So we're actually going to create it outside um, of the file. So we can call this uh, my list adapter. Gosh, this is a horrible name for it. But again, for tutorial purposes, we're going to roll with it. All right, my list adapter. We'll give it a constructor because we're going to be throwing a few things in there later. Um, however, this is going to inherit from recycler view and oops, there we go. Adapter. All right, now it's looking for a view holder. So we can just we will actually create an, a view holder inside of this class, but for now we can just say my list adapter view holder. All right, so now it's going to be saying, hey, 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 hold on. First off, needs to be initial. Needs a constructor initializer. Let's take a look at that error again. Um, has a constructor. Must be initialized here. Boom. We solved that error. So now let's take a look at that unresolved reference. 
So we can actually go in here and say inner class view folder. All right. And then we can have this inherit from recycler view, view holder. And then we need to pass in a view. So item view, view. And I'll explain what I'm doing here in a second. This, uh, this might be a little quick, but um, we're going to explain here very shortly. All right. So the recycler view is essentially saying, hey, we need some place to hold our views. But it's, uh, because this type is saying, hey, I'm cool if we want to have recycler view and display stuff, but we need to know like what view we're going to display. So it's like not to worry, we can reference this view holder here. And since it's an inner class, we have to refer represent, we have to call the class, um, the parent class, and then the view holder or and then the inner class right here which is the view holder all right so now um, it's saying so now we have this uh, actually going back to the view holder we can we'll actually add our view elements in here um, but we can do that here in a little uh, here in a second a little later so it's saying that it's not implementing the uh, the members that it needs to so if you're on Mac option return I believe on Windows it's um, um, alt enter so implement members that's us all right we're gonna go ahead and select all of these and press ok all right so these are horrible um, parameter names so let's go ahead and change that we can change it to view group all right and then this is again a horrible parameter name we'll change that to position so we know what position we are in for um, our list. So now we will actually create, um, this, is, this is creating the view holder. So we can just say val my list item equals layout inflator. This is, we have to say where it's coming from. So we need to pass in a context. So we can go ahead and add a context here. Context, context. All right. So now we can use that context in here. Oh, we need to, of course, initialize it. There we go. Now we need to inflate the view. So this is essentially saying um, we we need to get the um, we need to get the item template right here. This view we need to know which view is going to be referenced for the view holder. So this is where we reference that. So we can say layout item or list item, and then we have a couple other parameters as well here. So we need the view group, we can pass that in easy. And then there's another one saying uh, to, or asking us if we want to attach it to the root, we can just say false. All right, and then we can return my list, Oop. return my list item. All right, now it's also looking for um, the view holder. So we can just say um, view holder and then my list item. There we go. So we're passing in, we have a view here, and we're passing this view into the view holder and it's catching it right here. So now we need the item count. Well, what about our array, our list? How are we getting it here? So. We can, we'll actually make this before the, uh, nah, we'll make it after. We can pass in a variable um, and we'll call this my list, of course. And that will be an array list of strings. Cool. All right, now we have, we need to return so it's looking for an int, so we can return my list and the number of items in that list, which is 
using the count method. All right. Now on bind view holder. So we need to make a function here. Call it bind. All right. So we're actually going to be binding the specific item from the list. So we can just say um, my list item. Oh, actually, that already that kind of that's a little confusing. So we can just say um, my item. Gosh, again, horrible naming conventions. Um, so I would definitely recommend naming these a little better later on. We're we're calling this a string um, because we have an array of strings and we want one item from the array. So it's going to be a string. All right. So now we can just reference. We'll go ahead and reference the view. So we're going to call item view, and then from item view we have our title. All right. And then we can set the text of this title to my item. All right. And then in bind view holder we can just call view holder. Oh, actually we can do this. Change the parameter names because these are awful. View holder and then position. Cool. All right. Uh, view holder, bind, and then we're going to bind this to, um, say, my list. We're going to pass in the list. Oops. My list. And then we're going to pass in the position. All right. Typo. There we go. So this position gets the number specifically associated with each item. So then we can get each item from the list. And so it'll go through and get each item from this list. All right. So we should be good. Now let's go back to the main activity. Now we need to reference all of this. So my recycler view adapter. And we need to set it to this adapter. We need to add in, of course, it's expecting two arguments. Um, oh, excuse me. We need to call my list adapter. Pardon. My list adapter. And it's expecting two arguments, one for context, one for the list. So we can just type, we can just pass this. And then we can pass um, my list. Cool. Now, you can also say my recycler view. We, I, we need to set the layout manager. So and this can just be a linear layout manager. So nothing too crazy, nothing special. It's just going to be a very vanilla um, recycler view layout. All right. So let's take a look here. We have our recycler view set to go. Um, we have our... Um, our list, our data, and it looks good to go. So let's go ahead and run this, and we will see there is a problem, but we're going to uh, we're going to see what's going on together here because uh, this should be this should be fun. We're gonna wait while it's loading. I have two emulators here, and I frankly don't remember which one I hit. So we'll wait and see. Actually, uh, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna spoil it. We'll wait. We'll see if you. We went. We went fairly quick, and there was an issue. So I want to see if anybody here caught it though. And it has to do. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the layout. All right. There you go. So we only have one item. Why is that? Well, technically we don't. We have all the items. So if you start scrolling up, oh, there it is. So why does it look like this? Well, let's go to our list item. And let's see, our constraint layout is match parent. So it's huge. The, um, the item is the entire size of the screen. So we can actually, 
we can just go ahead and add a little bit of margin here at the bottom so it doesn't look too crazy. All right. All right. There we go. So let's go ahead and run that one more time now that we know what happened. So that's a, that's a fairly common problem um, if you're going pretty quick and you're not necessarily paying too much attention to that. So make sure um, that as you develop your list item and uh, other parts of your recycler view that you go through and specify each one uh, or you specify exactly what you're doing. Um, I wanted to go over that because that is, uh, that's an issue I came across a lot when I was first starting. And so here we have it again, and we set the layout margin, but of course not the height. So let's go ahead, gosh dang it, let's, let's run that again. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something that I have run into multiple times, and you got to be careful um, because it does happen. So let's, uh, let's see that again. Um, and while we're waiting for that to load, we can go over the adapter a little bit as well. So here we have a function that creates the view holder or uh, that references exactly which view the recycler view is going to be using for each of its items, um, exactly how many items are going to be in the recycler view, and then we are binding each individual item to the view. And then inside here, the view holder we specify what to do with that view. And so the, the view has the title on it. We're going to set um, the text of the title to what my item is. All right, so we go here, take a look, and there it is. We have all of our items. So join me in the next tutorial, and we'll go a little bit more in depth with recycler views, start adding some things, and start taking away some things as well. So look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.